I get this question every day. Let's break it down. We know that hormone therapy in almost any commercially available dose is protective against osteoporotic fracture. What serum level do we need to have maximum benefit? Is higher always better? There's two cells in the bones that you should be concerned about. One is an osteoclast and one is an osteoblast. An osteoclast acts like Pac-Man, chewing up old bone so that the osteoblast can come behind and lay down bone. We tend to build bone until we're somewhere in our early 20s and then we stabilize and slowly start declining over time. However, in low estrogen states, the activity of the Pac-Man, of the osteoclast, goes faster than we can build bone behind it, resulting in low bone density. Now there seems to be an estradiol level at which you stop losing bone, but you don't grow bone. It's a second level that's higher that actually promotes bone growth. This study was published in 2021 and has not made it into the guidelines currently. We looked at over 800 postmenopausal patients and looked at their serum estradiol levels. They also measured their lumbar bone density. So here's what they found. They looked at serum estradiol levels and again, and on the left side, lumbar bone density measurements. Increasing serum estradiol levels up until about 70 are related to higher bone density measurements in the patient. However, there was a peak threshold level at about 70 where we actually saw a dip after that. This is how we counsel our patients, especially if they come in with a history of bone density, osteoporosis or osteopenia. Any estrogen will help. Maximum benefit is somewhere around 60 to 70 in the way that we measure it in clinic. And then we check their estradiol levels on treatment and counsel appropriately from there.